Hi, welcome back to Digital Discoveries. We've been looking at the SAMR model of technology integration in the classroom. And so for uh, uh, several of these episodes, we're going to look at every single one. What does the S mean? What does the A mean? What does M mean? What does R mean? And so we've already covered an overview of the SAMR model, and we've already talked about S, which is substitution. Uh, we still have augmentation, modification, and redefinition to go through. So we're going to talk today about what augmentation is. Now remember that substitution and augmentation are the two lowest areas of technology integration in a classroom or in a lesson. These are where a teacher would be enhancing a lesson with technology, not necessarily changing the lesson so much with technology, but enhancing it. And Again, this is perfectly acceptable. We want people to use technology. We want them to use the technology in their lessons. But that's kind of like the low level, if you want to equate it back to Bloom's taxonomy, that's kind of like the low level of Bloom's. We want to try to move up toward modification and redefinition. So today, let's talk about augmentation. We're moving up the scale. Last week, we talked a little bit about substitution where we simply take some technology and use it to do exactly what you would have done in the classroom uh, in a regular lesson. For instance, in a substitution model, you might have had the students write a paragraph with pen or pencil with the uh, substitution model and technology. What we ha would have had them do is write that exact same paragraph using a word processor. So let's talk a little bit about what augmentation is. When we talk about augmentation, Technology acts just like the old tool, very similar to the way we talked about substitution. But we add some kind of improvement. Technology does something that you couldn't have done normally with the, with the tool. Uh, if you were using pen or paper or uh, crayons or whatever, if you were using those analog tools, the augmentation kicks it up just a little bit, you know, like, uh, like they say on uh, Emerald, you know, it kicks it up a notch. So we're going to kick up substitution a notch into augmentation. So we're going to go back to our guy here. I love this guy. He's going to look at some examples, and we're going to look at some examples of what um, augmentation can do in the classroom lesson. So let's look at this lesson. This is a lesson, and I think it's from about third or fourth grade. But I'm hoping that you can also, when we're talking about this, you can actually put these into your class and, and think, well, he's showing just an elementary school example. But the ideas transfer to middle school, high school as well. So I'm using elementary just because we have lots and lots of elementary students. Half of our students are at the elementary level. So um, let's look at this one. This was a vocabulary journal that a student had to do. And on the left-hand side, uh, the student had to fill in some information. Uh, in this case, they had a name or a word that they had to define. Uh, at the very top there, they had Andrew Jackson. Uh, it was the word, for instance, or assimilate, or um, uh, let's see, Bureau of Indian Affairs, or uh, Sequoia. These were obviously a unit that the teacher was studying on maybe the Indian Wars or a specific time in American history. They had to define those words. Then they had to draw a picture of what that word meant. So for instance, Andrew Jackson, he was the seventh president. And then the student actually, as you can see up there at the very top, the student actually drew a picture of Andrew Jackson. And then they had to use uh, that in a sentence. Andrew Jackson was a president. OK, so we've got, uh, we've got the definition, we've got the word, we've got a picture, and then we've got a sentence. So this is a vocabulary journal. This is a very typical uh, type of assignment student had to go through maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 words. Uh, they're obviously doing a unit on this, uh, this time in American history. So you're essentially the student's filling out a form, handing it in. OK, so that's the analog paper pencil version of the, of the lesson. So let's look at um, what substitution would be. If we were doing substitution, what the student would do would go back through and maybe instead of just writing the word Andrew Jackson, they would type the word in Andrew Jackson. The, the student would have like a form to fill out, uh, an online form, or maybe a, a Google form to fill out. And they would do exactly the same thing without any modification to the lesson. But let's look a little bit at what augmentation would do to this lesson. 
in augmentation, remember the, the definition of that is that we're going to use technology to improve the lesson above its original format. So we're going to let the students use technology to do something that they wouldn't have done back in the original assignment. So the original assignment, they're filling in forms and handing that in. So what can we do with technology where we augment that lesson just a little bit? This is the exact same lesson, but it's done with some augmented uh, uh, pieces to it. What the students have done in this case, he we took the exact same lesson, but instead of drawing the picture in, we used some pictures, or the student used some pictures that um, they found online. So instead of drawing a picture of Andrew Jackson up there at the top, they found a picture of Andrew Jackson online and put it into that, uh, into that little cell. Uh, in that uh, form. Uh, in assimilate, instead of drawing the picture of assimilate, they actually found a picture of some Indians back in the uh, 1800s that were wearing suits that actually demonstrated assimilation. Um, let's go back and see what the original assignment looked like. So the second line here on this particular assignment is assimilate, and that's uh, to bring into conformity was the definition. And then in the picture there, they had like people it looks like stick figures holding hands. That was their definition of assimilate. So uh, they uh, assimilate the new immigrants. And so in, in the case here, what they did was they actually took the pictures. So we're augmenting the lesson. We're using some technology here to augment the lesson, make the lesson a little bit more understandable. We're adding a little bit of technology into it. Something we al also might do in um, uh, augmentation, we might do something like uh, spell check and uh, use the computer to spell check the words. So that's what augmentation is in the SAMR model. We're taking some assignment that we already have and we're just adding a little bit of technology to add to the assignment that we wouldn't normally do. Let's look at some examples of what augmentation can do. Uh, it might be using a spell checker while typing. This is something that cannot be done while a student's just writing on a pen paper kind of assignment. Using an online dictionary to, uh, to define words while they're online. Well, that makes sense. Uh, using clip art or digital pictures instead of hand-drawn pictures. That's an example of augmentation. Again, we're not changing the assignment in any way. We're merely enhancing the assignment just a little bit. Uh, so right there, instead of using, um, uh, we might use a spreadsheet to make a graph instead of just using the graph, uh, hand drawing that graph. So again, this is augmentation. This is the second step in the SAMR model. We're trying to work our way up. We started with substitution. Today we learned about augmentation. Next time we're going to learn about modification and redefinition. We want to try to get up to modification and redefinition because when we're in substitution and augmentation, we're really not transforming the lesson in any way. We're merely doing the exact same lesson, just using a little technology into it. That's part two of the SAMR model, augmentation. Please join me next time on Digital Discoveries when we're going to talk about modification.